Hello, Virgo. Let's jump into this beautiful reading. Very interesting reading. A lot of information that we'll have to look at with clarifiers. So let's see. We have healing the heart. Aw, Virgo. Who broke your heart? Looks like somebody did with that death card. A merry motive. Look at you are really primed to have some fun. You want earth to open up, the world to reopen again, and you are planning on having some fun. Spirit supports that decision and a great big love. Virgo, a whole rebirth in your life is happening. We have the beautiful death card and we see this cloaked red cloak here. We have the rebirth of your passion with the red cloak around the death card. We see this beautiful star. We see the trees in the background. You are already, you've already made it through a passage of significance. The person that you are inquiring about with your energy combined is the Eight of Wands. Hey, keep the fire extinguisher by the bed, my friends. Eight Wands, passion, travel, joyfulness, communication. Um, you, the two of you are on fire with each other. We see Sagittarius energy. Ah, Virgo. Currently, you and your love are in this beautiful reconciliation uh, community sort of communal love situation. Well, that just sucked. That wasn't right at all. Okay. I need to do this. Okay. Hello, Virgo. Let's jump into this reading. It looks delightful. Healing the heart is part of what Spirit is recommending that you do. Ooh, have some fun. A merry motive with the number 20. So you and a love interest in the number two need to definitely take time out to have fun and great big love. Look at those angel wings on top of that love. When we look at the overall energy of the reading, you are go th going through a very significant time in your life when you are being born again. Your love, your heart is awakening to big love again. It looks as though you probably went through uh, maybe even up to a year of difficulty, of a breakup, of leaving someone else behind or another situation. But this is a beautiful, we see, when we see red in the tarot, it's about a passionate new beginning with somebody that you see as a bright star in your life. The passion the two of you have experienced in the recent past is past is off the charts. Keep the fire extinguisher by the bed because those sheets could combust at any moment. We see the two of you very excited, communicative, talking, traveling, spending lots of time together. This is the energy of, you know, air travel, going on a vacation, but definitely a lot of physical passion and emotion are going into this relationship in the recent past. The Six of Cups, you may have a reunion or you may have recently had a reunion with somebody that you've known a long time, somebody that is a soulmate, somebody with whom you may like to grow old with and they would like to grow old with you. But this loyalty of this beautiful dog is so central to your relationship. So we have Scorpio energy, Sagittarius and Scorpio energy. So a reunion. The sun card is how your person views the relationship with you. The sun card's the happiest card in the deck. It's joy. It's Leo energy. It's um, you are the bright spot. When we see the star here, we see the starry night. But by day, your person feels as though you are warmth, you are hot, you are fun. But it really speaks to being very grateful also for the joy that you bring into their life. They view you, Virgo, as someone who has a tendency to hold back. They view you as a person who can defend yourself, as a person who stays very calm, usually, in the height of passion. <laughs> but it, it really speaks to the fact they have respect, that you are very much uh, very effective in your life, that you people are competing to get your attention, and they hold you in high regard. 
your person in their heart space feels vulnerable. They feel worried that, you know, this is, it appears for most of you to be either the rebirth of a relationship or, you know, a new relationship. And it looks like your person is doing some spying, to be perfectly honest. The Seven of Swords can mean it can be a very negative card. Um, it speaks to the fact that someone could be doing something behind your back. But when I look at the cards around it, which are really the tell, the way we tell a story in tarot, is to see that your person is trying to manifest you. And they're like running surveillance on you to find more out about you so that they don't take a misstep. We see this beautiful energy in the uh, Virgo. Here you are in your reading with Gemini energy also. Gemini and Virgo are the two cards that repre are represented by the Magician. And it really speaks to the fact that your person is trying to manifest you and they're trying to, like I said, get to know all about you. I like the energy. The Four of Swords speaks to the fact that both you and your love interests have had difficulties in love in the past, that both of you are, oh, I would say, wounded, you know, that you, you may have taken a time out from each other or a previous love relationship. But what's hidden here is that both of you are on the mend. Spirit is recommending that you be grateful for the love that you have. We see that sometimes we take things for granted and Spirit is saying, be careful not to do that. It will be very important to this love relationship to stay on your toes and very communicative with each other. What we have here is your outcome is the King of Wands, stepping forward, taking that risk, taking that chance, putting yourself out there. The King of Wands energy is fiery Leo energy. It's a leadership energy. It speaks with the Sun card to very happy romantic relationship, which will very likely culminate, at least with Leo energy. Leo plays to win. So the energy between the two of you as your outcome appears is that both of you want to have this incredible, great, big love. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards. At the end of the clarifications, I will immediately go through the nine best things that your person likes about you, Virgo. Okay, so we're going to clarify with the Heaven and Earth Tarot. And then the Tarot of the Abyss will be what they like best about you. It's quite surprising. It's been a lot of fun to do the what they like best about you part of the reading. So why do we have the Death card here? What do we need to know about this Death card? We see the Eight of Cups. So your person looks as though or you or your person have left a, a past relationship behind so for some of you, you left that relationship, you let go of it so that you could have this one. For others of you, you simply left a relationship a long time ago and you're now enjoying the new relationship. Look at this Queen of Cups energy. How much more loving is, is life it, it, than life gives us in the Queen of Cups, the nurturing card, the Cancerian card, the honey, I'm home. Honey, I made you breakfast. What would you like to have? You know, honey, I'm home with a paycheck. Let's go to the department store and pick out our drapes. So it's a beautiful energy for the two of you. Why do we have so much passion here, my friends? Ooh, the King of Pentacles, you are on the same page. That is Taurus energy. So both of you want to nurture the relationship. You're both healing and you both are in the mood to build something magnificent between the two of you. And we go to the Nine of Cups. Your wish is coming true. Virtually, that is the fairy godfather, fairy godmother of the Zodiac. And it speaks to eat, drink, be merry, enjoy, live in the moment and live authentically in this relationship. Lots of love is flowing. Why do we have the sun card here? And it went on the floor. I'll be right back one second. Okay. All right, so we have the tower card. So this is a brand new love that you, oh my gosh, look at these cards. 
So the ones that fell out, you went to the eight, to the nine, you left something behind. The nine of cups, you found fulfillment. The ten of cups says that you are, your partner sees this relationship as a huge surprise, that they want to live happily ever after. It is an incredible surprise to them because they never thought with the five of cups that they would find love again. And here you are in the lover's card, soulmate energy. So there's a lot of soulmate energy in this reading today. Very powerful reading. So Virgo, why do they see you as the seven of wands energy? Why do they see you as someone that holds back? <laughs> They're trying to find out what's going on with you, by the way, Virgo. So let's see. They see you as a person who tells the truth, that sometimes you hold back your words because if you're too pointed, they feel as though um, you would you would be fearful of really hurting somebody that, you know, you have this sort of very strong intellectual ability to see the truth, and sometimes you just simply don't say it. You keep it to yourself. The King of Wands energy, they do see you as a leader. They see you as a co-leader in this relationship. The Three of Coins, they feel very much that life is good, that the two of you can create incredible beauty, happiness, and joy in this relationship. And we, okay, so I thought this was a lover's card, but it's a new deck. This is the Two of Cups card, okay. So the Two of Cups is a soulmate card, as is the lover's card, Gemini energy. So your person sees you as the one, I mean, incredibly as the big love of their life. Why is the Seven of Swords here for the way your person is feeling in their heart space? What is going on with that? The Hermit card, Virgo, they're studying you. They may have Virgo in their chart also. Your person very much is studying everything about you, trying to get to know you. Up at night, checking out your social media. Eight of Wands, thrilled with the idea of going forward. But I will say, here's the, the you know, the old Charles Dickens play, you know, a, the Christmas story. You are really remembering the wounds and the hurts that somebody else created in your life. It's giving you, or your person, I'm sorry. Um, your person is very much aware and they stay awake at night wondering if you're going to hurt them. It's a natural, absolutely natural part of healing, which is a four of swords. But your person sees you as being brilliant and they want to go forward very quickly again. Eight of Wands, your person has great passion, fire in their belly for the relationship. The Magician card, what does it represent? This is how your person sees the two of you moving forward into this big love relationship. You have the tools to manifest everything. Princess of Wands, throwing caution to the winds. Having fun, just look at the sun card twice. How does it get any better than that? Beautiful energy because the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Your person sees you as that magic. You have that chemistry. The magician card also speaks to the chemistry and the healing that this relationship brings to each of you. Why is the four of swords here? The eight of swords holding back. That's the energy of self-imposed restriction. So what I'm seeing is both of you are healing from old wounds, but you're really not depending on one another to heal anything. Both of you are doing your healing work. You're being very um, measured about it. You're not sort of dumping your problems at your partner's feet. You're being very self-contained, which is allowing this love to grow because you're focusing on what happened that's what's happening that's so positive between the two of you. And, you know, it's very laws of attraction energy that both of you are bringing into the relationship and the connection. Princess of Pentacles, you know, don't bite off more than you can chew, taking it a day at a time you know, offering the best that you have to offer on a daily basis, a day at a time, once again. Spirit is recommending that you don't take anything for granted. We do see the Seven of Swords again. Spirit is recommending 
that you don't take things for granted and that you pay very close attention to your love interest. Um, what I see here with the two seven of swords is that this energy speaks very much to the fact that both of you are being very cautious and spirit is recommending that you be cautious. So why do we have the seven of swords though, popping up into this reading? What is it about this relationship that has both of you feeling a bit worried here? We have temperance. Oh, beautiful. So what we're seeing here is that you're, you're staying calm because you're staying alert. The success of the relationship is because both of you are staying alert. You're both very honest with each other. And it does allow you to let your guard down eventually. So the Seven of Swords is really having your guard up. So right now, again, we see the two of you resting, relaxing, um, taking, you might be going to a spa. You might be going on a little uh, vacation. You might be having a staycation. But both of you are in the mood to hang out together, make future plans together. This is an offer coming in. And it looks as though both of you will sort of delay making a judgment call, but you're definitely headed in that direction. The two of you are really sharing how you feel now with this judgment card, talking a lot about your expectations, what you want, and it helps both of you heal and become very fiery and very passionate again for, again, this great big love. So now we're going to take a look and see what your person likes best about you. And we're going to do that with Tarot of the Abyss. So I see a relationship between people, two people that are falling madly in love. If you haven't fallen in love already, you are well on your way. And it looks like a beautiful relationship. I keep saying beautiful. I have to stop that. Tell me a word you'd like to hear better than beautiful. <laughs> but sometimes it's, it's so great as a reader to just see a reading like this to see all the healing, to see the magic of two people, you know, falling in love, being happy. So what do they like best about you? Page of Cups, you're so sweet. Look at this person's like picking up shells, you know, has a gift, they have a bouquet. Your person really thinks that you're so kind. The little things that you do for them, the thoughtfulness that you bring to the table, they're very, very appreciative of it. Your person likes your sexy demeanor, Virgo. Your person loves that. The Knight of Wands, they love that you're very passionate. They didn't necessarily see it coming. The Wheel of Fortune, timing is right. They feel as though divine timing has put the two of you in in one another's lives and they feel very lucky to know you and to have met you the four of pentacles your person loves the fact that they're you're you know a little bit possessive they like to know that they are secure that you definitely are holding on to them that you you know and they also like that you you know you hold back a little bit and it creates more excitement in the relationship but the four of pentacles is a little bit possessive and that's you know but it's okay it's not too much possessive. We see the Eight of Swords. Your person also loves the fact that you never seem to say much. That's very, you know, you're not mean-spirited. The Eight of Swords is all about holding back, biting your tongue. Tell us more about that Eight of Swords that your person loves about you. Yep. They see that even when you're upset, you have a tendency to hold back. You have a tendency to uh, be very, very optimistic. You are a person who builds good communication. And that's, you know, that's they have a lot of respect for you that you don't lash out, that you're not temperamental, and that you really create stability even under duress or when things are stressful. The Ten of Coins, legacy marriage is also something that's very important to your person. They see you as their legacy marriage, and that is Virgo energy. So Virgo, here you are. You're very reliable. Your person feels as though they can have an amazing life with you. Your person also sees you, Virgo, as a person who's very fair, who's very 
uh, even tempered, somebody who knows right from wrong, and that you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So your person loves that about you. The Ace of Cups, they love the fact that you're very tender-hearted. They love the fact that you love them. <laughs> the Ace of Cups, that you are offering your cup of love to them. Look at that. They love the fact that you have so much strength, so much courage, so much faith um, in the love relationship the two of you are sharing. So Virgo, it's been a joy being with you. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me what you think of the what they like best about you feature as well as where you're from. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon.